Hey guys, welcome to Andorra. Cedric, we're in uh, the highest mountains in the world, it feels like. Yes. Tell us about this place. Andorra, you know, we've been known since World Championship and even before with all those World Cups. The tracks changed many, many years, many times already. New track again this year. Fast. It's hot. Yeah. It's dry. It's dusty and it's going to be gnarly. I mean, it's definitely hot and summer is in full swing as you can see by our differing tans right now. It's a very fast track this year. How are they gonna handle that? I don't really know, Josh, uh, especially on uh, the variety of all those uh, tracks this year. This one is going to be as well short, really fast from the start with all those jumps. Middle with a uh, little bit of a technical rock section and we swing a lot of off cameras right. and it's going to be more run, more runs is going to destroy the track as well because it's so dry, it didn't rain so much this summer and that new section in the woods and the new finish line and it's a lot of things you have to figure out compared to last year but because the finish was there last year now it's the other side yeah but it's going to be intense and dust everywhere. Fesh, fesh, more like, because like really thin that real dust. real fine yeah. powder dust. You know the thing we've got yeah, in the yeah. suspension and all of a sudden you, your <laughs> fork don't work? Yeah. That. <laughs> We're obviously excited to check it out, but let's go and hear from the riders themselves. Andy Kolb, coming off a pretty massive couple of weeks. Tell us what you've been doing in this mini break after World Champs. Um, I was actually celebrating at home a bit. So yeah, finally a bit more of a celebration after Lega. I didn't really have time because of my knee. And good training, good training block and a bit of testing at home, a bit of filming, a bit of everything. It's been a fantastic run and a start to the season. The form's been there. How do you feel now coming into this second half? Are you feeling relaxed, confident, calm, chaotic? Um, I think I'm, I'm actually really calm, but also a bit nervous because Andorra is a track I'm struggling a bit, I would say, on the top section because it's so fast. But on the other side, Fort William is a track I nearly hated and now I did well there, so I'm like, I think I can do well on every track now if I adapt to it and if I do the work and everything. So I think if we keep working and trust in the process and everything, it should be fine. Speaking of the track, it's, it's slightly new this year. It's very high speed. How how are you going to adapt your bike or how are you going to get over that um, those negative feelings coming into this weekend's race? Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. I think I did struggle on the top last year. I was like 46 at the first split or something. And then I was the fastest at the last split, which is like more tech and stuff. So I think I need to maybe find a bit of better setup for the fast stuff on top. A bit harder, I guess, on the rear maybe, because I'm already quite hard on the front. And just go faster and the fast stuff. Just need to be a bit more of a man up there. <laughs> just go faster. If you yeah. just go faster, you'll just go faster. That's it. <laughs> Is it a matter, the track's likely to change. It, it might get quite soft and choppy. Are you likely to go to a, a more aggressive tire pattern tread or a change your suspension setup to handle that? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe go to an Argotal, which is like the intermediate tire from Comte. Uh, I think I did ride it last year, I need to check it, but it's really good on dust stuff. But the bottom is a bit more rocky this year, so the crypto tail, the um, dry tire will be better. So it could be a tricky one. So yeah, let's see, let's see. And tell us about the vibes amongst the team. You guys come off second and Charlie Hatton winning World Championship. How are the vibes amongst uh, the athlete and racing team pits these last couple of weeks? It's insane. But to be honest, it was always good. Like it has been good before. It didn't really change much now. I mean, Charlie's not talking to me anymore. He's too big time now. <laughs> She's talking. Um, no, nah, it's, it's good like always. It's, yeah, like a family for me. So, yeah. Well, it's fantastic to see it and we can't wait to see the, the race weekend. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. I don't know. You have to sing a song and people are going to push oh, the button. Canada, <laughs> I don't know the rest <laughs> of the song. <laughs> All right. Marine Cabiru. Hello everyone, I'm here with Marin Kabiru, third of the world champ, freshly on the podium. Contender all the season and today she's going to talk about a bike for PAL, Arin Sal World Cup for the UCI Mountain Bike World Series. Marin, what did you do on the bike? What are you going to plan to do on the bike for a fast track like this? A stiffer suspension or just more grip or for more grip or faster bike or different tires tell us about the setup a little bit uh, yeah for sure we'll try many different things to make my bike faster because the track is really dry so maybe we will put a bit less hair on my tire and maybe add a stiffer suspension 
to because the track looks super fast so maybe it will be better so we will try all the weekend and we will see third at world champ you was happy about that right yeah for sure i was really happy about that i start to find my speed again so i'm really happy with that a podium is always good contender all season oh, maybe it's it's your turn in palarinsa sure. maybe i hope we will see <laughs> what did you say Sure. <laughs> we'll see. The man behind the Dream Team and Jenna Hastings. Yep. Uh, amazing looking machine here. Tell us what goes on behind the scenes on a, on a course like this here in Andorra. The speeds are high. Yep, the holes sure. are massive. What have you got to look for to keep these bikes running to perfection on race day? Well, it starts off before race day. We've got to make sure they're trying to be as quiet as possible. So they've been doing a couple of days here already. Um, and the dust here is so fine, it just gets into everything. So the bearings, the headsets, everything just starts creaking with, without any kind of uh, love. So you need to give it a lot of love, just keep checking everything. And I think it's pretty hard on wheels here, so we'll just keep checking spoke tensions. Our rims are pretty good, so we don't usually have too many issues with that. We'll run a couple inserts. Um, I think we might try the Argo tile um, Continental tires with a, kind of the loose, dusty, deep dirt. It kind of digs in a little bit more, gives a bit more support. So that's not a mud tire, it's just a little bit more aggressive, right? It's like an right? intermediate tire for yeah. any sort of loose conditions, really. Right. Um, so, yeah, any deeper loose stuff, it works quite well. Will you change tire pressure at all on a track like this, or are the boys and girls pretty much set with the pressures they, they have? Usually, they usually go pretty, kind of, where they're at, they're pretty confident in what they've got. Don't, like, sway too much from that, just because of that's what they're used to. Maybe down a little bit in the front just for some extra grip. Yep. It's going to be real loose up there, so any little help they can with extra grip. <laughs> And with the speed, is there something yeah. where they'll try and change their compression? Is, uh, it, a, is it a fine balance between the speed and grip and cornering capabilities of this machine? Yeah, there's definitely a fine balance that we've got to try and find. Um, grip, obviously you're going to want as much of it as possible, but you don't want to be blown through everything to the point where you're bombing out and falling off the bike. Um, so yeah, just finding that middle ground is going to be key throughout the week. There's quite a lot of big compressions here as well, yeah. like hard kind of edge hits. So it's going to take a little bit of fine tuning, I think, but we'll work on it. Make it work. And even though you're not riding the bike, how yeah. important is it for you to know the track and conditions to convey with the rider? Yeah, well, when they come down and say, oh, this section or this rock is like, if I haven't been up there, it's really hard to kind of know what they're on about. And yeah. so to be able to see exactly what they're riding is quite helpful for me to get my head around what they're actually talking about. Because they don't necessarily convey the best things sometimes. So you need to make it up a little bit in your head as well. So what kind of advice would you be offering? Would you, if they come back and they'll tell you a feeling and then you'll go to the technical adjustment or is it more they'll tell you what they want to adjust? Uh, they'll usually kind of say what they're feeling and we'll try and suggest a good thing to improve that and try and keep kind of keep it more settled or make it faster in a section, give them a bit more grip. They'll just say, I'm struggling in this corner or I'm struggling on that rock. And then we'll try and come up with, maybe we'll go to Fox and ask them as well. Geordie's all, always really helpful. So a bit, bit of both. <laughs> well, congratulations on the effort so far yeah, and good luck you. this weekend. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you. I'm here with Aaron Green. Yeah, it's tough. It's uh, It's been a bit of a process with this, this injury. Um, everything's right on schedule and everything's been going really good, which I'm happy. No complications or anything, but it's just been a uh, bit of a rough one where you really got to be slow about like we're back on the physical therapy basically one week out of surgery but you just have to be very careful and be very slow about things and it's one of those ones where you really have to work on it really early to kind of get the range of motion and everything back so you don't lose it but you can't push so it's like it's tedious <laughs> so we're at I think nine weeks now so maybe another month till I'm back on the downhill bike so we got cleared to like lift some actual weights now so I'm starting very small and just working up from there Maybe USA, Canada or too early? Maybe, we'll see. I think I could be, if everything goes really well, when I start like adding more weight and kind of if it doesn't get too tight, when I start easy riding, hopefully in maybe three weeks, uh, maybe I could be back on the downhill bike like right around snowshoe. So it, we're going to be fresh. So we'll see. We're just kind of taking it one week at a time, like I said, and um, just happy to be back at the races here with the team this weekend and helping the boys out. And it's like, it's, uh, yeah, walk the track earlier, which was tough because I love it here and I had a good race last year. So I was like, man, you I want to ride. Did. It looks good, but uh, it's just fun to be back. There's a lot of hanging around at home and, and I don't like sitting still. So it's good to be back. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thibaut Duprella, we're in Andorra, the home of Common Cell. Tell us how that feels to race um, in quite a special location for, for your team's, you know, bike sponsor and title 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's a Comensal home and it feels good to be here. You know, we used to come here to train and to, to be with Comensal. So everybody is happy to, to see us here and uh, the team too. So it feels like uh, naturally and yeah, I love I like this place. It's uh, beautiful and yeah, the track is good too. So pretty excited about this week. Bit of a new track this year, very fast, very high speed. Uh, tell us what your thoughts are on the new sections and how you think it will develop. Yeah, for sure. The, the track is fast like faster faster and like all the, the tracks this year I think uh, the, the builders want us to go really fast <laughs> but uh, it's really good and uh, yeah the, the bottom section is a bit less sketchy than last year so makes it maybe a bit better and less dangerous so we will see how it goes with the, all the riders going down but I think it would be a good track really dusty but they put some water at the top, so it's good. <laughs> Will you watch the juniors to see how that track develops? Will you pay attention to practice and the racing in the lead up to your preparation? I tried the first few races, but now I don't want to go there because it's too scary to watch them race, riding. So no, uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Happy days, great to see you and good luck. Perfect, thank you. Phoebe Gale, bit of a break after World Champs. Tell us what you've been up to. Not much really, I'm back at home. Uh, had a couple of days riding down on bike at Dovey and I have been chilling. Just uh, a couple of days in the gym, kind of back into the routine. I was pretty tired after Port William. It was a big week, so yeah. How's your bike going for such a fast and new track? What are you going to change on it? Um, we've been talking about uh, like making the front end a bit higher, maybe because it's a bit steep here and um, see, how, see how it is. But yeah, we can't change too much. The bike setup's been pretty good all year, really. Um, I think we'll see how it goes. First couple of laps and then yeah. So it is. What do you think the key is to racing here in Andorra? There's a bit of altitude, it's dusty, it's fast, it's hot. Yeah, it's a scary track and I feel like it's one of those tracks where you just got to let the bike do its thing and just let the brakes off. It's uh, a lot of straight sections where you've got to let the bike dance and just go. So yeah, bit of a uh, bit of nerve and uh, be brave and think you'll be all good. What have you enjoyed the most about stepping up to Elite this year? Um, everything, it is so good. They almost like, it's kind of a dream to be an elite since you start racing and then when you're there you're like yes it's cool you're racing the fastest girls in the world and um same track and everything so you can just fully race them and yeah it is sick it's really good well we can't wait to see it on the weekend and good luck thank you very much thank you i'm here with bono Coulange and he's going to tell us a little bit about bike setup here in val nord what's your deal i think stiffer maybe we can put like the uh, mud cut because it's really dusty and um, that's it yeah we will come back to see if his planning on the bike setup was good. Thank you. Sweet. Merci. Thanks. Everyone sounds like they're going to have a good time here. Cedric, the course is going to be a great course to watch. What do you think the most exciting part is going to be about this new track? New track, like you said. I think the top is going to be really impressive. Out of the gate, cranking hard, first jumps. And epic views. You're literally epic on the edge view, of Endora. Epic really high, yeah. high. Like, you're high. Like, some people... Are, you know, you have to manage the altitude, you know, even if it's going to be a fast track, I mean, you still have to crank out of the gate. It's going to be fast, it's going to be dusty, you know, it's going to be wild. And one thing for certain, the racing is going to be as fierce as ever. It's going to be a great track here in Andorra. The racing, the races, the people, the crowd, the temperature. You, 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 you. Everything's spicy and we love it. We'll see you race day.